and good, never. But I'm not gonna do what they do, so that when the Lord do what He gonna do, I know how to position folk and govern them accordingly in my life. So when you got a mate, and God bless you with a mate, a wonderful king or a queen, you know, for the guys. Always be best friends first. Be friends first. Don't ever, and don't let folk in your business, man. Don't know about, everybody don't need to know what's going on. They really don't. Because when folk know what they, what's going on, they give the adversary too much information. And you're already in warfare trying to get the purpose. With just your own mental, mental and how you set up. So just imagine inviting other souls that aren't a danger to walk with you or be around you or even be in your presence. And then they're able to take pictures and do this and do that. But you got to be careful, man. Not that we scared because the blood of Jesus, you know, cover us. But, you know, you just got to use wisdom. I love that the, their connection, my colleagues, is pure. It's pure. And that's my desire. That's the goal. He teaches her. And she teaches him. And they teach each other. And iron sharp as iron. And God be glorified. So that should be the goal for the relationships. Now, I got to go, but I'm out of time and I'm never out of word. But I didn't want to be before y'all alone. I just want to share my little heart concerning the relationship and connection. Um, you must, you must, it's mandatory for whoever you are in connection with in communication with, in communion with, in alignment with, or on your way to purpose and destiny, you always want to be on one accord. And if they're going to be a life partner, you would want them to be your best friend, your friend. So until God clear the pathways and send Big Dad my way. Not that I'm rushing him. You know. I'm gonna be my from now on. I'm gonna be my own best friend. I'm gonna be my own friend. Own best friend until he send me my best friend. And I know God gonna do it in his time. I ain't rushing the process. I'm trying to build my life back over. And I made a wrong turn back there somewhere. And so, I don't want to ever put nobody, you know, bring nobody in and I got stuff that I got going on. So, be friends first, sugar. And uh, if you be friends first, you keep folk out your business. Everybody out your business, sugar. Be best friends. Keep your mouth closed. Don't never let the sun go down upon your wrath. Um, communication is key in any relationship. Without communication, solid, sound communication, there's going to always be confusion. And you don't want to have to be weeding through 
what's going on on the media, on the book, or whatever. You want to have clarity, sound clarity. And once you have that clarity between the two, your souls are already connected and intertwined. Y'all become best friends and can change the whole trajectory of how everything else and everyone else thinks concerning relationship because you stay sound in yours. And they can see from the example that one made, like this, this couple who was not really a couple, but they're a couple. <laughs> she gonna kill me if she see this. But, uh, you know, they're not a couple, but they're a couple. They've been best friends, 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 friend of foe. You know, and somebody she could trust, somebody she could count on, somebody she could depend on, and vice versa. They both, you know, they like yin and yang. They communicate. Communication is key. Whenever that's why I'm like, I like the way Kanye did that with um, the lady that he married, even though all oh, that's questionable. Uh, they went off the grid. And then nobody know what was going on until they knew what was going on. That's how, that's how I want my people to come to me. Because we don't need the, the world in our business. You don't need the world in your business. You don't, until they just have to be in your business. That's how you keep down the warfare. And you keep your secret weapons a secret. You keep stuff private that don't need to be out there, you know. Everybody don't need to know the business. And, and the bells and whistles, you know, don't, you know, be cool. The bill on the back end. Let the folks see what they see and what they don't see, they don't need to see. Because everybody don't need to see and know and every, know everything. Do you know how much warfare that the chosen ones already go through on the way to purpose? When they know what's going on? The chosen ones go through sheer hell trying to walk in the way of purpose. So, don't add no fuel to the fire, sugar. Let the chips fall where they may and, you know, let God do the picking up. And when God does the picking up, you know, you have not because you grab not. So, if God picking it up, and telling you to grab it, then just grab it. If God picking up the pieces and telling you to what's grab, you just grab it. Because if he he's confirmed what he needed to have done. He just need folks to get in position and communication is key. You can't Communicate with me through social media. I'm not really hard to find. I'm hard to access when I'm hard to find. Because I got a whole lot of emails, a whole lot of inboxes, a whole lot of, you know, uh, I want to say trafficking going on in my inboxes. Like, Yo, you know, and I know I'm, what? I know who I am. I know all that. I know I'm all that. Yeah. Anyway, communication is key. When you have, when you're in relationship, always, you want to always be friends first. Because if you're friends first, you can learn the ins and outs and everything in between of the individual. Though your, your emotional tank is full, sometimes you can't even express that. You got to keep your friendship. You got to keep it God. Because you never know, people switch up on you, you know? But if you know, when you know, you know. And if you know, Focus on the main thing. And trust God. 
to bring everything into fruition. And be patient with some. Because a lot of people aren't privy or excited about being in a limelight. Some people just like to be incognito, smooth operators. Like, I'm a smooth operator. I like to be in the background. I don't like, you know, I could be the life of the party. That's if I need to have to be the life of the party. But I'd rather just sit back and watch so I could see what's going on. Hey, y'all, I went to a party, y'all. Let me tell y'all. And I had, my, I had some new contacts, right? So I'm trying to see if I can see how the book is, right? And so I'm in this spot, and I'm sitting with people, and I'm like, don't recognize these people. But these people I see every week, you know what I'm talking about? But I couldn't understand. I'm like, whoa, you know, folk that put on makeup and done, you know, you know, done different things, done a little stuff different to themselves. And so, you know, so when I saw them again, it was like, you acting like you, I didn't know who you were, sugar, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look. We uh, brand new contacts, so I could see a little clearer. You know, everything wasn't fuzzy, but nobody looked it like they normal self. Like what I was accustomed, to, uh, uh, like I'm accustomed to seeing them. So, you know, I'm gonna act a little standoffish because I don't know. You know, I didn't know you was. Sugar, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> if anybody ever saw me out at a in at a function and I acted as though I didn't know you or you know I acted some type of way it's because I really probably didn't recognize who you were sugar y'all be putting on this makeup and transforming y'all selves and y'all be looking different and I, I don't be knowing what the hell going on so I'm sorry <laughs> but you know communication is key so I'm through ranting, I'm done with my little crabs. I can only do so, you know, I can't go too far on them. Right now I'm testing them back out to see if they, you know, bother me because they've been doing some, you know, extra stuff. Trying to figure out if that's, if it's true or not. But anyway, I love y'all. I hope I said something that you all understood. I ain't got no trouble right now. I'm just chilling and relaxing in the Lord and letting him do what he do. Because what he do, he awesome. So always remember, when you're in communication or you're in relations, relationship, it's best to be friends before anything else. Get to know that individual inside and out and love them. Flaws and all. Because God love us. Flaws and all. And if the Lord gave you the assignment to love them, then love them. Because when that love is reciprocal, mm, mm, mm. you know? So that's the goal. To, uh, Have a kingdom, a godly kingdom connection where we can show the world how to love and correctly love mm -hmm. without all the other stuff. Because people do do a little too much out here in these streets in relationship. Y'all play too much. I ain't got the time or the energy for that at all. <clears throat> so, yeah best friends and be your own best friend until your friends show up he coming she coming right around the corner they're not far they coming and when they come they gonna know how to govern themselves with you they gonna get you because your tribe who's gonna get you is gonna get you and you ain't got to do all this that and that and this and that they just gonna get you you got to be okay with that. So anyway, you tune in to Lady D, the truth seeker. Just hanging out with y'all. 
loving on y'all. We'll be back to talk about life and life life and then, you know, world events, but right now I'm just focusing on me, focusing on my destiny, focusing on my purpose, and connecting with those who God had me to connect with to cross me over into purpose. Tune in to Lady D, the truth seeker, one love. It's only one love, the kingdom of God in heaven. It's just me, little old D, Lady D, the truth seeker. Blessings, favor, and strength.